Dr. John Hovanesian and Dr. John Griffin, both specialists in corneal and cataract surgery, relate their patient stories from their trip to Armenia and the impact of being involved in the Armenian Eye Care Project. In Armenia, every case that we see is the toughest case we've ever seen. A combination of environmental factors and war and nutritional problems and self-care problems contribute to uh, the surface of the eye, the part of the eye that I treat being as badly abused as anything I've ever seen anywhere in the world. There are so many remarkable stories in Armenia. One that I really remember is a fellow named Vartan. About Seven or eight years before I first saw and treated him, Vartan was a soldier, a newlywed, and he went off to the war in the conflicted area in Azerbaijan, Karabakh. He was victim to a very unique and really insidious type of landmine. It sent out shrapnel that destroyed eyes, and this happened to both of his eyes, and he lost his sight instantly. It destroyed mostly, though, fortunately, just the front part of the eye. And the back of the eye, the part that is the receptor, the retina, was intact. And a couple of attempts had been made with corneal transplants to replace the front of the eye, to give him vision again. And yet, when you have such severe damage, a corneal transplant is very likely to fail, to be rejected by the body, and he really never had a chance to see well, even with those transplants. I had a chance to use a new type of technology called an artificial cornea or a keratoprosthesis that's designed specifically by scientists at Harvard to specifically address this kind of problem. And one of the wonderful things about it is that it works almost instantaneously. So we did surgery, thankfully he did well, and uh, the next day uh, in an event that's familiar to all of us in Armenia where you have the whole family, and I don't just mean the wife and the two daughters he'd had but also his parents and his wife's parents and cousins and in-laws and everybody you can imagine. We removed the patch to have him to take a look at his eye. And he opened his eye and for the first time ever, he saw his children. There was no dry eye in that room and, and the kind of emotional experience that we had. This is why we do what we do in Armenia. We saw end-stage diabetic retinal disease. We'd see tumors around the eye that hadn't been treated, cataracts that hadn't, uh, that had progressed to the point where these people needed a child to bring them around. So we saw really very far advanced medical conditions. Caught in the middle of this conflict uh, were a lot of people. And one of the people was a middle-aged man cradling a young girl in his arms and he brought this young girl up to see us and to make a long story short we found that she had a little piece of shrapnel in her eye in her cornea so it stuck just in the middle of her cornea and we said you know we are very lucky this shrapnel has not penetrated into her eye we can take this out and she'll be fine and this man turned around and he started to shake and sob. I said, what was going on? And the interpreter said, the story was that the, he had two children. One was the young girl that he was cradling in his arms and the other was a young son. They were playing in their backyard and they found this little piece of metal. And the older girl said, don't touch that, that could be dangerous. So he threw it away, nothing happened. So he went and got a stone, smacked this piece of metal with the stone and it blew up, it was a landmine. And it killed the boy and it blew this young girl's stomach apart and her legs riddled with shrapnel. And we only saw the little tiny piece of shrapnel in her cornea. And we brought that young girl to, uh, to Yerevan in our car. We came back through this winding Caucasian road and took the piece of metal out of her eye, and she was eventually fine.